All right, makeup geeks, I have a super easy, super fast summer look for you guys. It's kind of a monochromatic look using just coral colors, and I didn't have to use that many products. I love this look just because it's so easy, but it still has that pop to it for summer. Um, so I did coral on the lid, coral lips, and a nice pink cheek, just something very warm and fun for summer. So to start off our look, you want to prime the lid. If you don't have a primer, you can just use a concealer. It doesn't matter because we're not going to um, be doing something too dramatic today. So you don't have to worry about it sticking or blending or whatnot. I'm going to take a really um, kind of pointed brush. I got this at school and I haven't seen any other brushes like it. It's the Makeup Forever 16S brush. Let me show you another alternative. You could use the Makeup Geek um, Deluxe Outer V brush. It's not quite as pointy, but this is an option if you can't find this brush. But what I'm going to do is take the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. It's this kind of corally color. If you have fair skin, don't do this step because it will appear too bright. If you have medium to dark skin, this is great as a base. It makes anything you put on top pop a little bit more. Let me show you guys too. Hold on. Um, if you want something that's inexpensive, because I know this palette is crazy expensive. I don't expect everyone to go get that. But you can use the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is a more orangey color, so it's not going to be more corally. But if you want to do this look with a little bit of orange, you can use that. And it's inexpensive, and it works really great, too. Or just use eyeshadow. It just won't be quite as bright. That's totally fine, too. Okay. Take your little pointed brush and a bit of the coral base. You just need a really, really tiny bit of this. What you're going to do is look straight ahead and put this right here in your crease and come all the way in. And what you can do after you get that line started, you can start to slightly with what's left over, blend it upwards. Now take some tape and I'm doing this just so I can get kind of a sharp edge out here. So just take a little bit of scotch tape, put it on the back of your hand and peel it off a couple times so it's not too, too sticky because you don't want it to pull out your eye. We're just going to angle this. Here's the outer lash line here. You're going to almost follow the lower lash line, so pretend there's an invisible line coming out like that. That's the line that you want to do. So put it right here at the edge. If you want more of a cat eye effect, you can tilt the tape down to where the line is a little bit sharper. Okay, now take a coral eyeshadow. I'm going to show you guys these colors because I don't want you to think, oh, I have to use all these expensive products. You really don't. But what you need is a matte finish color coral color and then something to blend it with. Um, this is Max Coral and Max Samoa Silk. They're both a matte finish. So I'm going to take the coral color and a dome brush like this, so like Outer V1. I'm just going to put this over this base just to kind of set it. With that Makeup Forever Flash Palette, it's really creamy, so you need to use just a little bit and you always, always, always have to put eyeshadow or powder on top or else it will crease because it's a very creamy product. Oops, got a little bit too much there. Just buff this out with this brush. And then what you can do to get rid of the harsh line up here is take your, you know, light peach color and put it right above that to kind of blend it out. Now you can just peel off this tape. Super, super easy. I just wanted that for that crisp line. Make sure when you guys are putting in that color, you don't come down here because I want to leave this all really, really open. Now if you want to leave this look like this, you can just put on your mascara and go. And it's just a nice little pop of color. Um, but what I want to do is add a bit of dimension. I don't know if you can see in this eye. See how there's a little bit of brown in here? I like doing that just so it's not one solid color. Totally optional. I'm going to use the Mug Eyeshadow Latte. It's just a brown color and a really small brush like this. Pick up a little bit of that, flip it upwards. What we're going to do is see here in the crease on the outer part, we're just going to kind of get that line started like this to kind of define the crease and then sweep the brown upwards, blending it into the peach. And you see how it just kind of defines the crease a bit and adds a little bit of dimension. And what you could do, if that's not blending too much, go back in with your little dome brush, a little bit more coral eyeshadow kind of go over it to blend it out. Now take a brown eyeliner pencil, doesn't even matter what kind, we're just using this as a base and this is just to kind of darken the lashes underneath so that way when you put the flesh color eyeliner on the waterline it pops a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is stay really close to this lower lash line. My lashes will get out of the way, jeez. And <laughs> put this right under that lower lash line. Don't make it too, too thick. 
And then what you can do is go in with that same brush I'd used for the brown up here, pick up a little bit more on the tip of the brush, and you're just going to smudge this over it just to kind of soften it a bit. Super easy. I told you guys this look is so easy. Okay, now take a flesh-colored eyeliner. If you have pale skin, you could use a white one, but to me, white looks a little fake, so I like using the flesh-colored one. My favorite one is the Stila one, and this is the color Topaz. It's just nice and creamy. Pull down on the waterline and just run this in there. And do you see how it makes the eyes pop, makes them look a little bit brighter and more open? And then all you have to do from here is just apply your mascara. I'm going to use the Tarte Gifted Mascara. So let me show you guys what I have on my lips. It's a YSL lipstick. I picked this up in Paris just because I thought it was such a pretty color. Great for summer. It's number 36. You guys can use whatever coral or peachy lipstick that you want. This one is fairly bright. Um, it'll look on great. It'll look on great. Look great on every skin type, but isn't that a pretty color? So I just put a layer of that on. Try not to get it on my teeth. Jeez. It is bright, so I'll show you how to tan it down. You can either put like a nudie lipstick on top if you want, or if you like it this bright, that's totally fine too. I use the Makeup Forever lip gloss in number D20. It's just kind of a shimmery orangey color. I think NYX has one that's a little bit um, similar. It's called Pop. You can use that too. It'll save you some moolah. So I put that on top. So for the cheeks, I'm going to use a bronzer. I'm actually, it's not actually a bronzer. It's a pressed powder. It's the Dior pressed powder number 60, which is obviously darker than my skin. But I wanted to use this because it was a very warm matte finish and really, really creamy. It's definitely high quality, which it should be. It cost me an arm and a leg. Um, you can use, if you have fair skin, I wouldn't use something this orangey. So if you have medium skin, this is fine. If you have dark skin, go with something a little bit darker. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever 24S brush. You can use whatever brush that you want. You're going to flip it upside down because I want the color to be here in the cheekbones. So let me show you. Blend it upwards onto the cheeks because I want just a very bronzy, peachy cheek. And then I'm going to take a bit more and put it, hold on, let me get my hair out of the way. Put it along the side of my temple and kind of sweep it inwards so it kind of frames my face. And then for me, hold on, let me blend that out. So it's not too dark. For me, if you can see, my jawline is very um, like chiseled. It kind of comes out a bit here. So I want to de-emphasize this a little bit. So I'm going to take a bit more and put this right here on my jawline. Be careful doing this step. and put it back here too. Because if you aren't careful, if you apply too much, you'll get that orange line. It'll look like you have, you know, fake tan or whatever. So just be careful with it. If you feel like it's too dark, take your beauty blender or sponge and kind of blend that out. Okay, go in with your eyeshadow you use. We're going to get multi-uses out of this. The Coral Eyeshadow, same brush. Get out of there, spun, or, uh, fuzzy. Okay, same one. We're going to use this for the cheeks just to warm it up a bit. I want everything to be very monochrome, everything very peachy, corally. So I'm going to put this right here on the backs of the cheekbone, just for a little pop of uh, a peachy color. And then to highlight, you can either use your favorite cheek highlighter, or you can go with something a little bit golden. I used, um, which one did I use? Okay, I found it. It's the Makeup Geek Gold Digger Eyeshadow. I'm using this because I want something very golden on the cheeks. If you have dark skin, this is definitely the best highlighter to use. You want something very golden because it gets dark skin, it really pops, it just gives you a nice glow. I'm going to take a soft dome brush like this. This is a Makeup Forever 17S, but any sort of just soft dome brush will work. All I'm going to do is apply a little streak here on tops of the cheekbones and then buff it out. And do you see how it gives you just a very summery kind of golden cheek? And that's pretty much it for our look. Something just very corally. It's bright, but it's really easy. It doesn't take a lot of time to do. So I really like this one. I hope you guys do too. But um, go to makeitbeak.com. I'll try to list some inexpensive alternatives for you guys if I can find them. Um, and pictures, all that good stuff. So check it out. But I really hope you guys have a great summer and stay healthy and happy. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.